welcome to Vienna. The beautiful environment and attractive scenery have contributed to giving Vienna the title of the Goddess of Danube. The magnificent Vienna Forest is located in the west of the Alpine foothills and the east overlooks sparkling Danube River and the snowy Carpathian Mountains. Vienna is the national capital, largest city, and one of nine states of Austria. Vienna is Austria's most populous city with about two million inhabitants. The city is located in the eastern part of Austria and is close to the borders of the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Hungary. Additionally, Vienna is known as the city of music due to its musical legacy, as many famous classical musicians such as Beethoven and Mozart called Vienna home. Vienna is also said to be the city of dreams because it was home to the world's first psychoanalyst, Sigmund Freud. Now let's get into the historical landmarks of Vienna. First off, we have the Skanbrum Palace. The Skanbrum Palace was the main summer residence of the Habsburgs rulers, located in Hietzing, Vienna. The name Skanbrum, meaning beautiful spring, has its roots in an artesian well from which water was consumed by the court. The 1400-room Rococo Palace is one of the most important architectural, cultural, and historic monuments in the country. Skanbrum is Vienna's most popular tourist destination which has been attended by 3,800,000 visitors in 2017. In addition to tours and tour packages, many classical concerts featuring the music of Mozart and his contemporaries can be enjoyed with the added benefit of more time in the spectacular halls. Be there or be square. This is a place you don't want to miss. Next up, we have the Hofburg which is the former principal imperial palace of the Habsburg dynasty. Located in the center of Vienna, it was built in the 13th century and expanded several times afterwards. It also served as the imperial winter residence, as Skanbrum Palace was the summer residence. Since 1946, it is the official residence and workplace of the president of Austria. Today, the palace houses three museums which afford historically authentic insights into the traditions and everyday life of the imperial court. The imperial apartments, with their original furnishings and decoration, the Sissy Museum, with its sensitive staging of The Empress Life, and the imperial silver collection, which contains a comprehensive range of tableware and other utensils used at the imperial court. There is also a group of historic buildings, open squares, and pedestrianized areas you can just walk around and enjoy. Home to some top Vienna sites and experiences, including the Three Location Palace and Museum Tour, the Spanish Riding School, and the Imperial Treasury with the Crown Jewels. Be sure to check them out before you leave. Now, let's talk about St. Stephen's Cathedral. St. Stephen's Cathedral is the mother church of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Vienna and the seat of the Archbishop of Vienna. The most important religious building in Vienna, St. Stephen's Cathedral has borne witness to many important events in Habsburg and Austrian history. A notable component of the architecture of this gorgeous place is the roof. The glory of St. Stephen's Cathedral is its ornately patterned, richly colored roof. 364 feet long and covered by 230,000 glazed tiles. Above the choir, on the south side of the building, the tiles form a mosaic of the double-headed eagle that is symbolic of the empire ruled from Vienna by the Habsburg dynasty. On the north side, the coats of arms of the city of Vienna and of the Republic of Austria are depicted. The roof is so steep that it is sufficiently cleaned by the rain alone and is seldom covered by snow. Okay, so did we save the best for last? You tell me. We now have the Kunsthistorisches Museum Wien. The Kunsthistorisches Museum is an art museum in Vienna, Austria. Housed in its festive palatial building on Ringstraub, it is crowned with an octagonal dome. 
The term Kunsthistorisches Museum applies to both the institution and the main building. It is the largest art museum in the country and one of the most important museums in the world. The buildings are rectangular in shape, with symmetrical Renaissance revival facades of sandstone lined with large arched windows on the main levels and topped with an octagonal dome 200 feet high. The interiors of the museums are lavishly decorated with marble, stucco ornamation, gold leaf, and murals. The grand stairway features paintings by Gustav Klimt, Ernst Klimt, Franz Mach, Hans Makart, and Michaeli Makotsky. The museum's primary collections are those of Habsburgs, the collections of Emperor Rudolf II, and the collections of paintings of Archduke Leopold Wilhelm. Don't forget to stop by! And there you have it! A few of the most popular tourist attractions in Vienna, Austria. For exclusive highlights of more cities you've dreamed of traveling to, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss when we upload new videos each week. Chat soon!